What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. And in this video, this video right here, oh, I am super excited about this. But before I get into it, I must send a huge thank you and shout out to Flash Forge USA for sending this over for me to try out on the channel. Okay, this right here is the Flash Forge Artemis 3D printer. And I am a complete noob when it comes to the 3D printing world. I have never even tried out, tested. I've never really been near a 3D printer. Have no fear, Flash Forge says, because this right here, the Artemis, is supposed to be extremely user friendly. So it should work out for noobs like me, right? Let's do this! All right, let's do this. I'm gonna first unbox, take everything out, give you a close up of everything that's included. There's more. So you're going to have to go ahead and cut all of the zip ties and everything. So I'm just pointing out all the different clips and stuff that you're gonna have to cut and remove before you can do anything with the printer. I know you have to be thinking like, wow, that's a lot of clips, but they packaged it perfectly to make sure there's nothing moving, no moving parts or anything like that. So I can dig it. With the purchase of the Artemis, you will get two rolls of filament as well as three nozzles as I showed you earlier. What we have here is the spool holder for the filament. So you're just gonna go ahead and slide it into this little hole right here. Easy peasy. This is your glass build plate. The one that we saw when I first unboxed was the magnetic build plate. The Flash Forge Artemis has a 4.3 inch touchscreen. What I'm doing here is I'm gonna check to see if there are any updates. It looks like we're up to date. The next step that I'm going to do is to level the build plate to the extruder. I'm placing this sheet of paper on the build plate 
This way I can kind of tug at the paper lightly to see the type of resistance I have. I don't want to rip the paper, but I want to make sure the nozzle is touching the build plate. Pulling the paper right here, this is a little too tight, so I'm going to have to adjust and make the bed come down a little bit. And then you just wanna follow directions on the screen to make sure everything is level. The next step that I'm going to do is load the filament. So I'll press the button on the touch screen and what's happening is the extruder is heating up to the temperature that you see on the screen. And once it's done properly, we just see that blue turn to white and then I'm good to go. I'll go ahead and take the included flash drive, plug it into my computer, and this will give us the software we need to put the program on our computer. Go ahead and select whatever operating system you're using. I'm using a PC. Go ahead and load it up, install it, and then we can get going. Once it has installed, find it on your desktop. And once you open it, you'll see the FlashForge slicer program. These objects right here are samples from the flash drive that they included. And these are just to kind of test out your printer for the first print. Once I hit start slicing, this window popped up for additional settings. And now I'm going to send it to the printer, pressing this button, the G code file name is snake. That's what they named it. And because this is my first time, I didn't realize I hit two, but this is a great way to test out the printer to do two different objects. So we'll see how this goes. I was pretty excited to check out the first, very first print. And looking at this cube, you're thinking, what the heck? But rookie mistake, I should have had supports with this uh, build, but you know, this is the learning process. Now look at my snake, that is pretty clean. That was done very nicely. The next thing I'm doing is I remove the glass build plate and I'm going to go ahead and install the magnetic one. So first I'm gonna have to go ahead and put the magnet onto the build plate and on top of that i'll place the actual magnetic build plate down and this um a lot of people seem to prefer this build plate over the glass because you can just pretty much flex it and your prints will come off here i reprinted that cube and it looks 100 percent better we'll go ahead and clean out those supports now on to the next print some key features that you probably wanna know is that the maximum extruder temperature is 260 degrees Celsius. And as you saw earlier, this does have a Wi-Fi connection. That's how I sent the job to the printer. And coming soon, there will be cloud printing using Polar Cloud. This feature I was unable to test out as it's not gonna start rolling out until the end of the month. The FlashForge Artemis has a larger build volume with 190 by 195 by 200 millimeters. Look how beautiful my little benchy turned out. It did a great job. This is a very neat and clean job. So I'm not gonna lie, I did have some issues. And as a beginner, this was a good learning experience, but for some reason, this PLA from this company just did not work well with the Artemis for some reason. Um, it got jammed so many times. It was just a pain in my neck. As you see, we had many jams with this particular filament. I can't even use that nozzle anymore. So it was just a huge pain. And again, it could be some rookie mistake, but with that filament, I got this error right here. But when it did print, 
it did print really nice. Like I really do like the color. So that's why I kept trying and trying. I was able to print this right here and I think it came out pretty nice. So that's one of the print jobs that I did with this that actually completed. And so I think it looks pretty nice. How do you guys like that color, that shiny color? And then I did try to do a larger vase, but as you see, it had issues. You can see kind of where things went wrong, but I just used it as like a little holder for little pieces. But then I tried again, a medium sized vase with the black filament that was provided um, from Flash Forge USA. And this printed beautifully, as you see. As I said in the beginning, I'm coming in as a complete beginner. I have never tried to mess with a 3D printer. So if you asked me before I tried out the Flash Forge USA Artemis 3D printer, what a uh, extruder is, what the nozzle is, a build plate and all of those different parts and pieces that make this printer work, I couldn't tell you. But using it, I will say like setup, the manual, everything is pretty much easy to um, get through and learn. And I felt like anybody, if I could do this, I'm pretty sure that anybody could do this. The one thing that you really must have is patience. You have to have patience when doing 3D prints. Um, it's not just gonna be like if you were using your regular paper printer, it takes time. And it also takes patience to learn the slicing programs and all of that. But as a beginner, I would say I would totally recommend this Flash Forge USA Artemis 3D printer for sure. I would say in the time that I had to test and review this 3D printer, I have learned so much. And it's so much fun to be able to think of something in your head and actually create it. I can see why a lot of people do enjoy 3D printing. As you see, I've been dibbling and dabbling in a few little print jobs and I plan to get better as I learn more. I mean, check out this box that I made. This is a different filament from another company, but this one had no issues. At the end of the day, you have a printer that is $589 and comes with everything you need to get started. You can also use third-party slicer programs, so have at it. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.